All right, folks. There's a lot of questioning um, on a uh, 50 amp service. There's two legs, a red and a black leg, and then there's a white wire. The red and the black leg should equal 240 volts. So the receptacle itself should measure 240, and then each leg should measure 120. So I'm gonna go over this. And then there's a ground, and then there's a neutral, okay? I'm gonna turn this around and go over some things with you. All right, so that is a 50 amp leg. So this is 120, this is 120. Between these two with a multimeter is 240. Let's say you didn't get it. So what leg is bad? All right, so you go 120 to your neutral. All right, 120 to neutral. Let's say from here to here didn't give you 120, but from here to here did. And that means that leg is bad so you would open this up look at it or go to the main breaker panel which is in the garage way down there so i got like 100 foot of damn wire coming out here so i'll show you first thing i do is i measure both legs all right so i make sure see the length of that multimeter lead that it sticks down in there's metal all right so i go here And it's not touching. Two hundred forty six volts. Two hundred forty seven. All right. So that's measuring from leg to leg. Okay. Now, let's say you want to measure this way from here to the neutral. That should measure 120. So let me show you what I'm doing. All right. Kind of hard to do it by myself. So you see it? I am doing one leg. All right. 121. Now, I'm just going to, it doesn't matter if you use a red or black lead because it's AC. All right, so now I'm going to go from this leg to this leg. Okay, and 125. Now I do the same with the ground. I go from here to make sure my ground circuit's good. 120, see it? That's the ground up there. And then I go here. Okay. 125, right there. So. Um, I've seen where if you go from here to here, you didn't get 220, but 240 basically, 120 each leg. I've seen this be the neutral. So how would you prove that? So you would go, if I went from here to ground and got 120, then that means that was power. If I went from here to there and got nothing, that means that was a neutral. The idea is, it's not for you to figure out because you got to go inside the box. You just got to have 240 from here to here, 120 from here, 120 from here, 120 to here, and 120 to here. You don't have to worry about why it's messed up because you, you shouldn't be at the campground fixing their stuff. But uh, it is what it is. And there's my ground wire. I got a true true ground you see it it goes right into the darn ground all right well here it is that's the 50 amp service all right and i have another little 20 amp because i got a fifth wheeler over there let's see if you can see it yeah there you gotta go hook it up that's a three a triple axle all right so hopefully this was helpful because this one's pretty low on the ground um i have to put me a better pedestal out here with a light I don't run into it, but some of my people that show up do. And there's actually water there and all that. So, see, there's water, electric, sewers over there. Right there, right there's the sewage. So, beautiful day here. This is Jeff from RV Diagnostics. There's a couple different ways to get me. Hopefully this video was helpful. Remember, each leg is 50 amps. That's 100 amp going into your coach. 
folks. It's not just a 50 amp service. It's 100 amps each, two legs. And remember, there's a the two slots that are left and right that are horizontal vertical. Those are 120 each. The bottom one in the middle at the six o'clock position is a neutral. And then the 12 o'clock position is the D hole. It looks like a D. That's your ground. So you learned how to measure that. So there's a couple ways to get me. One's at the garage, 22480 Bloxham School Road, Seaford, Delaware, 19973. Please just don't show up. Uh, you got to email me at jeff at rvdiagnostics.com. Let me know, and I'll get back with you. If you don't have a telephone number, there's a way to get it. You have to join the website. That's another way where I do one-on-one -on -one with you, like right here. I'm watching you do the steps. It's... Uh, RV Diagnostics, www.rvdiagnostics.com. So go in there, and there's like 10 or 20 testimonial videos you can watch at. The other way to get home me is the YouTube channel, RV Diagnostics. Uh, you can leave comments there on something. I'm going to post this one here and on the Facebook page. Another way to get a hold of me, RV Diagnostics and Troubleshoot. That's like 23,000 members. Uh, this coming March 2022 will be its fourth year. So that's not too bad. Thank you very much for everybody joining that Facebook page. Um, there you go. That's all I can tell you. What's the motto of RV Diagnostics? Test, not guess. You'll learn by testing. You might test something that would be correct, but you at least learn how to test. Then you can apply that to the next thing. The other one is, what I always say, test not guess and safe travels. I mean, you can't fire burn bright. Until the next video or until the next can brown that I see you. Take care.